children today we are going to learn a new story how camel got its hump this story is written by rudyard kipling he is a very famous writer who has written stories which the children love the most this story is about a lazy and proud camel this camel lived in the middle of a howling desert because he did not want to work he ate sticks and thorns and prickles and when anybody spoke to him he just said hum that is the only thing that he said to anyone so the horse that came to him on one monday morning and what did he say to camel camel o oh camel come out and trot like the rest of us so what did the camel reply hum said the camel and the horse went away and told the man so all these animals they are working for a man after that a dog came to the camel and the dog was having a stick in his mouth and what did the dog say to the camel camel o oh camel come and fetch and carry like the rest of us what must have the camel replied hum that's it then afterwards the ox came to him and the ox what was it carrying on his neck a yoke and it said camel o oh camel come and plow like the rest of us hum again said the camel and the ox went away and told the man at the end of the day the man called the horse and the dog and the ox together and said three o oh three i am very sorry for you but that hump think in the desert can't work or he would have been here by now so what am i going to do i'm going to leave him alone and you must work double time to make up for it will anyone like to do double time for someone else no that made the three very angry and they held a panchayat on the edge of the desert and the camel there came he was chewing the cud what do you mean by cud have you heard about any cud chewing animals yes we have the cows buffaloes so what do they do when they see the grass and uh, the food they eat it very fast very fast very fast and afterwards what will they do they will just bring out the food that they had swallowed and they they will chew that chew that and digest it later okay so when there is food they will eat it and afterwards they will chew it okay so this whole camel was also cut chewing the cud and uh, he laughed at them and what did he say again to them humph and walked away so then there came a jinn have you heard about jinn aladdin aladdin yes there came a jinn can you see in this picture the jinn yes he was in charge of all deserts he came rolling in a cloud of dust and the host said jinn of all deserts is it right for anyone to be idle jinn said certainly not well said the host there is a thing in the middle of your desert with a long neck and long legs and he hasn't done his stroke of work since monday morning he won't trot view said the jinn listening this my camel what does he say about it he says humph and he won't plow said the ox very good said the jinn i will humph him if you will kindly wait a minute so the jinn was ready to help the animals so what did the jinn do he went to the camel who always says humph and what is the camel famous for he is very proud isn't it so what happened see camel was shocked to see his hump growing so what must have jinn told to the camel do you want to know that do you want to know that yes for that you must see what is the jinn say so what does the man say to the camel that is your own very hump that you have brought upon your own very self by not working 
So it is because of you not working that you got the hump. So what happened between the jinn and the camel? Do you want to know that? I had asked you to read this story earlier. Those who haven't read it, if you want to know the full story, please read it. Because supplementary reader is for developing your reading habit. Now you had known something that happened between something had happened between the jinn and the camel. What happened? Find it out by yourself. Okay, children. Thank you.